and welcome everybody here in Twitch Chats and everybody on YouTube. For some more Historic, we're uh, going to our second deck now for this Historic Anthology event. Um, if you don't know about Historic, this format is where you get to play basically everything on Arena. Um, if you didn't see the Mono Black Zombies video that we just played, uh, the eight sets that were legal uh, from Ixalan to M20, that standard format, plus Throne of Eldraine, plus there's 20 new cards they released in, um, in a set that they are calling Historic Anthology. And that is um, what we're kind of building some new decks around with some of these new cards. Our next deck that we're going to be playing here, we're, I'm calling it Esper Affinity. Because what the point of our deck is, is to be able to play a ton of artifacts for free um, during your turn. And, you know, whenever you cast artifacts for free, that's usually refers to the affinity keyword. Plus, we have Tezzeret that actually has the affinity keyword. Gives your creatures and planeswalkers affinity for artifacts. But the main card that our deck is built around is Ugin. Ugin says our colorless spells cost two less to cast. Well, if you notice, we have a lot of colorless spells over here that cost two mana. Um, so, you know, you can play Stone Coral Serpent for two, and then all these Golden Egg, Guild Globe, Mindstone, Treasure Map. That's right, these are some new cards. Mindstone is a new card um, that they just added in with Historic Anthology. Mindstone allows us to. You know, we could play this on turn two and then ramp. So turn three, we'd have four mana. So we can play Karn, Karn, or Mystic Forge on turn three right away because of Mindstone. So yeah, this is that's kind of like the goal of our deck is to Mindstone ramp into these things. Um, and, you know, ramp up into Golos, which gets us another land for Ugin. This deck, I have this built. We're going to play this in best of one. I have this kind of built for best of one. Um, with a sideboard filled with 15 artifacts to be able to grab with Karn the Great Creator when need be. So we have we have a lot of good options there. Um, so yeah, this is kind of just a best of one deck. Um, but you know, like this could be turned into a best of three. But to start with, with um, uh, yes, Timber it will be. Um, but to start with, we're going to be doing uh, just some best of one because this is a new format, and you know, making sideboards for a new for format is also kind of tough. Um, the other way, so our spells are going to cost two less. We're going to use Mystic Forge, so we can use we can look at the top card of our library and cast colorless spells from the top card of, or from the top of our library. So that's how we get a whole lot of spells. You know, like we can just keep on playing these things off the top of our library. Um, over and over and over again and kind of go through our our library that's kind of the goal of the deck our our mana base also we have a lot of different lands in here because we are we are playing field of the dead this is legal in historic um Golos can go find field of the dead and then you know so we want a whole lot of different lands so we got that um the and uh, we'll have the ability to to find that with Golo, so we can also make an army of zombies very, very slowly. We're not, that's kind of just like a a defensive game plan, really. That's not like what our, our deck's about, but it's just um, Field of the Dead can just make a couple more blockers to help us stay alive later on in the game. Uh, yeah, correct. So yeah, Mindstone's not standard legal. It's just legal in historic. So anyway, let's get to the games here. Prediction, we win all the games to go Mindstone turn two. Man, I, I sure hope so. Um, Oko, of course, is legal in this format. We're playing tons of artifacts. So Oko is not something that we want to really play against a lot. Um, I No, I, I do not have... I've never had a gaming chair in my life, so I don't have any recommendations on gaming chair. I've never, I've never even sit... Uh, Sitten sat. I've never even sat in a gaming chair before, so I don't know. I, I don't know anything about them. Pelt collector. Why would you want to collect pelts? Don't collect my pelt. All right, so we're just going to be um, casting Kai's Wrath on four. 
It's just really, do I want to crack golden egg or do I want to keep golden egg out here? I think I'm just going to sack the golden egg. Please don't continue to kill me, opponent. Ugh. I would have liked to draw a two mana artifact to be able to play with Psy here. But I want to just get the blocker out. Good, no Ember Cleave. I wanted you last turn. Okay. And now Sai is going to start making some more blockers for us. Basically, it's. All right, we stabilized. To say if they draw like an Ember Cleave, we would die, but we stabilized, and there we go. They gave up. But that's why we're kind of splashing for Kaya's Wrath. It's a necessary card for sure. What's the environment in Historic so far? Uh, it's still just super, super new. Like Basically, people are just playing standard decks for the most part. I uh, haven't really seen people trying out the new cards too much. We did play against a Mono Red Kiln Fiend deck. But besides that, we haven't really seen other people trying out the new cards too much. Yeah, people are very scoop happy in this format. There's not really anything I can do about that. Yeah, exactly. This is this is just like the first day, so like there's no no real expectation besides that. But I've certainly seen a lot of Oko. Um, then you've seen like some Field of the Dead, some Kethis combo. Oko is, I think a little merriment is in order. Is probably the the worst card for me to see overall. And you get a lot more turn two Okos in historic because you have four land war elf and four gilded goose to go along with your four um your four once upon a time. So basically, any hand you have Oko in it, you're playing it on turn two. <laughs> Surely you see the humor here. Uh, no, land land where else was not banned in anything. Timber Savage, love your content. This is for your computer fund. That is awesome. Thank you so much. Uh, Nissa. Welcome to the feast. Thank you so much. Let me read the rest of this and come up. Thanks for all the work you put in. I've used a decent amount of your ideas with my own twists. 
I also run my own eBay business so I can sit at work and listen or play while you do. Well, that is awesome. Thank you so much there. That is... That was just really, really cool. Thanks, Timber Savage. All right, we'll see how this goes. Yeah, yep, I'm gonna, yeah, that's that's the plan. I gotta get a beast computer. That's the plan, thank you so much. Well, yeah, we're, we're playing a lot of these things that filter our mana for Kaiserath also. You know, Guild Globes and Golden Eggs. I think the the Castle Vantress, honestly, that that's the one car, the one land that I'm playing that I don't I don't think I really like. I don't know if we're ever actually going to activate Castle Vantress. So yeah, right now Castle Vantress is coming into play. It's coming into play tapped also. So like yeah, like my Ugin, everything's coming to play tapped. Yeah, we're still dead. Turn two Oko still busted. Our deck can do some really cool things, but unfortunately Oko is is like the worst card for me to play against, and Oko's the most popular thing right now. In historic, it's definitely the thing that we've been playing against the most. Yep, turn two Oka on the play. I mean, it's just what are you supposed to do about that? <laughs> Kitty says, I'm watching at work, don't tell anyone. All right, I, I won't. <laughs> Thank you so much, there, kitties. Mm, when you land, so right now, because, because of the fabled passage, we don't actually get to play. There we go, update that. We don't actually get to play the Mystic Forge on turn three, which is what I would prefer. We haven't played the Hypnotic Spectre deck yet. That one is up next with Soltai Spectre. We're playing that up next. <laughs> Historic, where you can go back, where you can go way back in history to three days ago and play Oko decks again. <laughs> Was that just three days ago? Oh gosh, it was, wasn't it? Wow. It's felt like Oko's been banned for a really long time. I guess it's just been three days. All right, so it looks like historic, or sorry, looks like Field of the Dead. Trust me, you'll thank me later. All right, so I don't really need another Ugin. As long as they don't get rid of this one. Trust me, I have a plan. But that could be pretty greedy getting rid of that. I 
I don't want to just like exile my second Tezzeret though. Tezzeret's like the only way that we're gonna be able to win. All right, cool. I can exile that. Oh, I've done the hero thing before. So it's basically, can we go over the top of them? Like, hopefully they don't have circuitous route or like anything to really speed them up. Hopefully they're sitting on like, you know, Rome cloak giants and time wipes and stuff like that. I guess we should just play that and ramp. Here we go. That card's going to be annoying. I guess I have to use Ugin to kill that. Stone Coral Serpent can be a whole lot bigger if I wait a turn. Because Tezzeret would give it affinity for artifacts. Guess we might as well keep this Kai's Wrath in case of Scape Shift. Darn, they have Circuitous Route. I didn't want them to have that. That speeds them up quite a bit. I'm known for my excellent time. That's more like it. It's fine. Lands. The fabric of the multiverse obeys me. Where's all of our artifacts? There we go. Here we go. Now we're going. This is what our deck can do. All right, so now Karn's free. Um, Evil cannot withstand a righteous army. My new Karn. Until you have lived as a statue. Reset library. A curious choice. Give me the serpent. Oh, there's another serpent. Um, so this is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. All right, so Ugin's free. I already plussed up the other Ugin. What do we want to go get? Hmm. 
Hmm. Yeah, I don't have anything like really that great to get for this matchup. Yeah, I wish Meteor Golem wasn't just non-land permanent. <laughs> I don't have very good attacks. Ugh. I'll just kill this thing. I'm basically just kind of playing out into... That's like all the drain I get to do here. Playing out into a sweeper. You have already lost. That's okay. Oh, I, I guess I could have plus an... Oh, I would have had another... Hmm. I would have had another... I could have dealt one more damage. Could technically pop the Mind Stone and draw this Tezzeret and still try to keep going. But I'm pretty sure they're just dead regardless. What's up, Storm? So yeah, like the yeah, the Tezzeret has affinity, but it like I can't I can only play colorless spells off the top, but I could have drawn it and then play it. But we need, we'd still need a blue and a black mana, and I don't have a blue and a black mana. But yeah, they're, they're just dead to the Tezzeret tick up here. Like, we can eat, pretty easily do 8 damage. Let's do some more cool stuff first. So, like, they're, they're very dead. Like, we have 8 artifacts. Um... You may regret that choice. See so yeah, they're gonna die to the claw. Hmm. We haven't done a very good job of hitting a whole bunch of artifacts though. It's been kind of annoying. Where's all of our artifacts? There we go, there's one. There's one. There's one. That's not really an artifact, but it's a free card. It's a free card. My allies. Free Golos. Everything's free. Keep on top. Free card. Free card. True goodness can never be corrupted. Free card. Horn Swoggle. That's a good one. Free card. I am card. I am not frightened by you. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17. We can cast this for 17 for free without without spending any mana. 
That's cool. I guess I could... Oh, I didn't even play my Psy first. Oh, I should have... Yeah, I should have played the Psy first. This whole time. I could have just gotten a whole lot of things. Oh, well. Let's go with the Claw. Let's do 17. I could have got a lot more... Two and one. I forgot about the Psy of every every one of those artifacts I just played. I just played like seven artifacts. I could have got seven more Thopters and made that 17-17 into like a 25-25 or something. Hey, what's up, Yud? Okay, third version for me to check out. All right, yeah, try that third version, except for without the the white outline on Historic that's, like, the same color of the book. If you take out that outline, what does it look like? We go first? Okay, if we were on the draw, I would mulligan this, but we go first. We'll just keep it. Maybe we draw a Mindstone here. That was the thing about that last game. We had turn two Mindstone, which just set us up to be much faster. Oh, I thought that was Mindstone. Yeah, this is yep. This is just like the list that I had that played Alayla. That's what I, I used that deck to to make this one. But you know, we've gone away from Alayla with having like the Karns and stuff. Oh, you're slain standard with the Alayla one? Awesome. I have faced worse than the likes of you. And uh, digging for Digging for Kaya's Wrath. Yeah, we really need Mindstone to turbo out our deck for sure. Be a good time to draw Kai's Wrath also. Hmm. Some solutions must be built. Sometimes we're just going to die to the aggro deck. Especially when I kept a hand that did nothing until turn four. I mean, I guess we had the Gil Globe, but... Um, I'm not sure which version I like more. Probably this one. Darn. We're about to start playing a whole bunch of stuff for free, but aggro deck got us. I would rather lose to that than lose to Oko, though. That was a more enjoyable game than my opponent just playing turn two Oko and... Dra and 
drowning me out by it. All right, so I think I like the one with the outline, Yud. Yeah, I think I like the one with the outline. Maybe that, maybe that outline a little finer though, if you can. Like, if that's something you can do, like reduce the size of the outline a little bit. Yeah, definitely off ball. I'm thinking I can just play Ugin next turn. Uh, then Ugin dies. I guess I need a Kaya's Wrath next turn, so I guess I shouldn't have played the Emery. Wait, I guess I can't even Kaya's Wrath the next turn, can I? Yes, I can. This is, yeah, we're doing best of one right now. We'll be doing some best of one, some best of three. Right now we're currently doing best of one. <laughs> yeah, a lot of Oko and Field of the Dead for sure. All right, what can they do at this turn? They got five mana right now. Next turn we'll be able to drop Ugin and start going off. Isolated Chapel. Exile that. There we go. I want that card. Um, yeah, that's good. All right, here we go. Not defy the Let's go. Dragon. Oh, can I cast you? I can't cast you, can I? Hmm, that's unfortunate. It's a good card. I don't really want to scry that to the bottom. like to draw that next turn but I guess we scry it to the bottom oh well We're... Uh, I guess that gets scryed to the bottom too boo that one's a lot worse I'll be gone interloper. what do you do oh, you have to pay two mana to sack two artifacts you have to pay mana 
We have to pay mana these days. In historic, you have to spend mana to. want to draw that either. We already got one of those. There we go. We'll draw that. I battle for the forces of good. Hmm. My purpose is greater than myself. We'll talk about it. Secrets manifest before you. This deck is sweet. <laughs> we had mind stones. Our deck was really fast because we had mind stone. It's fun just playing all your stuff for free. I know, right? Spend mana in this economy? Well, how are we supposed to spend mana? Yeah, we, if we Spyglass name Leyline, then it's just they don't get to act like they the Leyline still does like they, they still get to add two mana with everything, but they don't get to activate the Leyline to put counters on their creatures. Yeah, mon uh, Mnemonic Betrayal. Yeah, that's a fun card. That's a fun one. Yeah, Gilda's, Gilded Lotus is probably a little too slow, but... That's a cool one. It's, it's basically just not as good as, like... Um, as Just as Golos, because, you know, Golos blocks and it, it ramps you, all that kind of stuff. Just taking my carns. It's rude. Let's get this watery grave and play. I know I could play the glacial fortress and not pay life. I don't want that. All right, so my upkeep scrying. I think I just draw. Uh, I guess we'll keep scry. I should have just drawn. Down, down, down. <laughs> you just love thought erasure. Four gods once. I am one again. Never ending. Hmm. This is a tough call. I was planning on playing Karn. But I was going to go... Karn tick up, but they're not going to give me Ugin, so I get the other card, but then they kill Karn, and then my Ugin's exiled for good. Um, so that's pretty rough.
Yeah, the thing is, yeah, I could make a construct too. I want to just expand my resources. You have no weakness that I cannot exploit. This would be a great time to draw you again. So the minus only gets artifact cards. <sighs> Bleh. Intellect is without I don't know, should I just exile the Golos? Probably just over, right? Definitely over. Man, what an awesome hand they had with double thought erasure and everything. GG. But that's why we're not playing for treasure maps. We saw there, like, treasure maps just pretty slow. I couldn't get Ugin earlier. It was on top of my library, but I couldn't draw it. If I would have, if I would have played Karn to tick up, I mean, I guess, I guess I needed to like Karn. I guess I needed to go Karn and, and make a Karn struct. I guess that's what I needed to do, not Golos and Ramp. I guess I needed to do Karn Karn struct. Um, yeah, I mean, I guess, I guess that was the play I had to have. Yeah, four mana Bolos does seem. Pretty amazing with Fires of Invention. Uh, no, I wouldn't say Grixis is necessarily that great, though. But my opponent just had as good a hand as you can have. But yeah, that, those two do work super well together, for sure. There, there is best of three historic. It's, it's ranked. There's both. I will fight for my friend. Stand down. Stand down, burrito. Correct. Historic has best of three ranked. We played some with the zombies earlier. We played some best of one and some best of three with that. I'll protect I really I have this right now built for best of one though. Beer day. All right, that looks like a pretty sweet deck. Team or mid range? Yeah, that looks pretty sweet. Oh, 
I got more of those. Okay, so we know that they don't have any any more counters, but they got Brazen Borrower. I gotta watch out for Brazen Borrower. Trust me. You'll thank me later. Keep up the pace. This is our first time playing against a control deck. Come on, resolve. Yay. My presence alone will guide you towards victory. Doom I can create or destroy. Say hello to my little friend. <laughs> it's very no five on this you. <laughs> Whatever they bounce, I just cast for free with Ugin. Alright, another Fae of Wishes deck. Oh no, Planar Cleansing. Well, that's a that's card nice. I can't beat. That card's not fair. Do I have anything in, in my sideboard for, for that? <laughs> I don't think so, because all my stuff in my sideboard are artifacts. You will not threaten this world. Would I rather grab Bola Citadel or Mystic Forge? So I could get this thing. Uh, they just bounce it. Ah, uh, I have another thing to bounce it. And then... Oh, don't draw lands. Why'd they have to draw a land right away? Yeah, so like getting getting Mystic Forge or Bola Citadel would be after for after they cast Planar Cleansing. No, we don't have any Dance of the Mance in the deck. Our, our late game's already really good, but, you know, we, we are weak to Planar Cleansing, I suppose. It's not something you expect to see too often.
stop that. Now! Ether itself serves. So they're, they're just scrying to set up a land drop. Arch of is cool. We will rebuild. We will rebuild. They can keep sweeping the board, but they can never sweep our freedom. The real thing is if they have another planar cleansing. So if they have another planar cleansing, I'm probably going to die. So that's that's the real thing. I kind of want to just keep that in my deck. <laughs> yeah, they can't sweep our lands. Um, we just got a new sub. Luna, thank you so much for the resub. Evil must not be I appreciate that, Luna. Well chosen. I know I could play this this Karn out. I don't really want them to just play another planar cleansing though. Really hope they don't have another planar cleansing. I don't want to get even more permanence out there. That's obviously the card. Like, regular rats I don't care about, but obviously planar cleansing is just really rough. Hopefully they just have one. Okay. That's not planar cleansing, at least. So that's good.
All right, so basically, can we kill our opponent here? I think they're at 21. It's going to matter. We have to find, like, Psy, probably. They've already exiled too many. Yeah, they have Settle, I know. It's about can we kill them with Tezzeret, which I think we can. Yeah, we, we should be able to kill them with our two Tezzerets here, I think. Tick up, get rid of this card. The fabric of the multiverse obeys me. Mm. Oh, right, I have, I have music and scry. Should have done that first. Ah, still so many lands. My allies are counting on me. Oh, right, I have Wishclaw Talisman. Aww. I am here. You have been warned. Oh, I still have a land drop? Okay, good. Did my Psy die earlier or something? Oh, there's Psy. The choices we make reveal who we are. I need all my two my two mana cards. One, two, three, four, five. This didn't go great. I just kept on whiffing. I can't reset my library anymore. I mean, I guess I can with this other Karn, I guess. Hmm. Where are my two mana artifacts? An excellent choice. There's got to be more in the deck, right? Dang, we have, we've looked at so many cards at our library, we're not casting anything for free here. Ugh. So it looks like I'm not going to be able to kill my opponent. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. All right, well. I gave them Wishclaw Talisman, though, now. I guess they can't activate it because of Karn, because of this Karn. Um, there's nothing in Exile with Karn, just lands. Two lands. Three lands. Like, where... So what do we have? We have one, two, three, four, 
Five, four. Let's see how many we had in the graveyard. I feel like we should have more two mana artifacts than that. We just kept on like everything was like land. No, I don't have an infinite combo. Um, we just win by ticking up. Tezzeret. Yeah, Karn, Karn with Wish Claw is pretty nice because, yeah, you can go find something and then your opponent can't activate the Wish Claw because of Karn's static ability. Um, so, yeah, that avatar, that's a new one from the... Uh, from the night bundle there I have. Okay, so there we go. That's Esper Affinity. So we went 4-3 here with this deck. You know, we lost to an aggro deck. We lost to Oko. Um, those are, those are going to be tough. And then we lost to that Grixis that had an incredible hand. But we beat everything else. I, we even fought through a planar cleansing there. Uh, Mindstone was just awesome. Man, it was really cool playing Mindstone in this deck. That definitely sped us up a whole lot. Really liked the Mindstone. I think I think Emery seems pretty pretty uh, unnecessary. Probably just want a second Psy. I think I think Psy is probably just going to be better than Emery. I wanted to try them both out. I liked Psy more. Um, it did kind of seem like we didn't have enough two mana spells though. Yeah, the the list somewhere. Yeah, it's right here. It did kind of seem like we didn't have enough two mana spells. I kind of wanted more Guild Globes. I wanted to play like all of them because you know, like once once we get Ugin Mystic Forge in play, that's you know, like we want to just keep on hitting like Guild Globes and stuff and just keep on doing that. Uh, that that basically mean we'd have to like take out Sai or take out Treasure Map. I think Treasure Map was good though. I like the Stone Coral Serpents, but yeah, I kind of wish we had even more of these. 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. So this is 15 free cards. Kind of wish we had even more. But yeah, the Mind Stone helped us get to Golos. Honestly, our deck was just pretty good. I liked it quite a bit. This is, a, this is definitely a fun one to play. Um, mana base wise, I think Castle Vantress is our worst land. So if we want to just add in another dual land, you know, like another like isolated chapel, Temple of Silence, um, you know, if we just want another dual land or another basic or anything else, we could. Castle Vantress is definitely the worst land. If um, actually, we should probably just play one beacon, gain just a little bit of life with these planeswalkers. We could do that instead of the, the castle, because we're just never going to activate that Scry 2. We're never going to activate that, and, and we have Arch of Araska now that draws cards. I guess Beacon doesn't cast Psy, but whatever. Yeah, I get a Beacon in there. Um, okay, so there's an Artifact Creature... Yeah, what is yeah, what's that thing? Maybe we should have that in our wish board. We could probably fit it in here. What's that thing called? Is it a golem? Yeah, what's what's that card called? I guess we can find it this way. Or, okay, it bounces historic things, not legendary things. It bounces his. That's the deal. All right, this thing Guardians of Colios. Um, <clears throat> yeah, Art, yeah, Ardenvel cast Kaya's Wrath, which is important, and also. I think there's a better chance that we activate Arnvale than the than the other one. All right, so you need a lot more than just one Guardians of Colios for an infinite combo. But 
but I don't. Let's play. Let's let's go ahead and play that over a glass casket. I don't mind that though. That's not a bad card to grab. Like if you're if you're going crazy when you have Tazeret Ugin. Um, you can just play, you know, you can play this for free, bounce your Golos, replay your Golos. Bounce your Ugin, replay your Ugin for free. Bounce your Meteor Golem. I don't know. It's not... It's not great, but... Hey, we're playing a best of one, you know, wish board. It's probably... It's probably something that I'll grab some percentage of the time, and that's all you want with these 15 cards. It doesn't seem like we need two glass caskets, so we could just get grab one of those also. Um, yeah, this this is just another top end card. Our our top end is on is honestly just fine. We don't really need more top end cards. No, I'm not playing Grafteer's Cage because it shuts me down. The whole point of my deck is to play stuff off the top of my library with Mystic Forge. And Grafteer's Cage shuts me down. But, um, you know, maybe you need it to stop Kethis combo. But that's why we don't have it in here. Uh, Midnight Clock is is just fine. I kind of like, like, Midnight Clock's just fine. Nothing wrong with it. But it's not, it's not you know, just colorless. You know, so it's not just colorless for um, Ugin making it cost less. So I don't love it, but it's just fine. All right, there we go. Esper Affinity. We should move on to our next deck here. So we've played seven games there in uh, best of one. This is this is definitely a fun one. Um, as far as best of three with this deck, if you're someone, if you like best of three. Um, that's that's definitely doable, but of course, you know, like we only have like these two Karns. You just make them. You'd make the Karns worse, you know, like because you'd you'd want like a real sideboard, right? Like so, you'd you'd have like five or six cards for Karn to grab, and then you have, you know, nine or ten real sideboard cards or something like that. You know, like a, around those numbers. Um, right now, with it being a new format and everything, I thought it was just the easiest just to make it best of one, um, uh, with the Karns there. Um, all right. Uh, so, like, yeah, whenever the site, whenever the the format kind of uh, comes out, like Ashiok is probably you know Unmoored Ego, Ashiok. You probably want those kind of cards. You want anti aggro cards um, as well. Like that, that's what you'd have for the sideboard for this kind of deck. All right, but that's Esper Affinity. Uh, so again, if you're watching on YouTube, hit that like button, subscribe, leave your comments. Let me know what you think about this deck and Mindstone and of course Historic, everything like that. Um, but uh, thank you so much for watching some Esper Affinity, and I'll see you for the next video.